The Greek word meta means beyond, and I'm using it to describe the reality that lies beyond, that lies beyond. So what you see is what you get is our current reality. But when you occupy meta reality, you're meta human. In fits and starts, everyone is already there. Meta reality, meta reality is the source of all creativity. Because without going beyond the old and conditioned, there would be no new thoughts, no new artwork, no new books or scientific discoveries. No matter how many thoughts you've had in your life, there are infinitely more to be had. No matter how many sentences written or have been written, you have access to infinite more sentences to write. Uh, words and thoughts are not stored in the brain like information in a computer. Words and thoughts are not stored in the brain like information in a computer to be juggled mechanically when another thought is needed. Shakespeare wasn't simply juggling his Elizabethan vocabulary. He employed words in a creative way. Van Gogh didn't simply combine the standard colors in the spectrum. He used color as a way of seeing the world beyond him. Going beyond is how a person decides if life is meaningful enough. When you want more than your life is giving you, it's not your brain that craves meaning. Nor is it the everyday person going about routine business of life, the routine business of life. The self viewing things from a higher perspective is deciding the matter. The self also describes or decides whom to love, what is truly um, something that you can trust and so on. If a mother judges that a cranky three-year-old needs a nap, she goes beyond a simple assessment of what the child is doing and saying. Cranky children say all kinds of things and mothers uh, don't buy into them. If they did, they'd be no better than children. Going beyond is also growing up.